up, everybody? Maze. Welcome back to Social Friday. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful interview with Mr. Karanja Alex. My name is Joy Mochache. You can find me on Joy underscore Mochache on select platforms. Remember that this has been Social Friday. Before we go any further, I'd like to introduce our DJ. His name is DJ Marsh. Salimia Watu Ndioni and Delay. Habari zen, DJ Wash Kwanza. Chakwanza ni kuswe. DJ Wash. Wash. Yes. Uh, hi guys. What, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Sema tu, hi guys, what's up? Sema kayo ataka, salmiya tu wa say. Hi guys. Nkupua. Na wamejibu wako home kwa kauchu kusema ya etu kukua. Well, they can communicate via social media. Um, mm -hmm. Get in touch at Wash DJ across. Mm -hmm. Kila mali. Okay, so mm -hmm. sana. Yeah. And before we go any further, um, I'd like to let you guys know that we've got a wonderful guest with us today. She has been here before, but today she's here talking about a whole other different thing. And before we go there, please remember that our social media handles are right down there at the bottom of the screen. What you have to do is put hashtag Social Friday, hashtag Why in the Morning at Y254 channel on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Karibu Nisana to the advertising edition where we're talking about advertisements, all types from back in the day, present day, and even things that we might expect to come in the future. Today on set with us, we've got Miss Jean Ojiro, wonderful, tall beauty. <laughs> Karibu Nisana, help me welcome her. Thank yes, you. Yes, Madam Model, <laughs> Madam Actress. Yes. Madam Advertise. What do you call people in advertisements? Commercial models. Commercial models. Yeah. Okay, commercial models and runway model. And as well as, um, uh, I've just said it as well. Akijin, don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just mentioned it. You said Madam Model. Madam Model, mm. yes. Akari Busan. Asante. Yeah, we're glad to have you back. Yeah, I'm so happy to be back. How have things been for you? Been good, been good. Yeah. I think a home and doing a come, that's why my voice is a bit hoarse. It's but a bit raspy, like raspy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just about okay. to sing Nipinda <laughs> Sautia. Uh, uh. So, no, I was just about to say. Why are you going to be? I was just supposed to, by the way, some people like that, that voice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See, it sounds nice. Yeah, but now, okay. Kamani Homa. Uh -uh. <laughs> Compliment me, Shachukwa. Kamani Homa, you're here. One day, I, I, I take the admitted you, Nini. Ah, Nili Shachukwa. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on, huh? I can't even remember what I'm saying. We talk that off air. Mm -hmm. But she's, she's pretty, yes. mm, for yes. the record. Thank uh -huh, you. So, so. And so that's why, by the way, I think you've been making it into a lot of advertisements. And we're going to be touching a little bit about the advertisements that you've been in okay. a bit later on. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, uh, can I start off by letting the public know what advertising really is? Citrons of Missouri, if we're going to start, let's start from the beginning. The beginning is called an introduction. And yeah. so basically, advertising... Um, is an activity or profession of producing advertisements for commercial products or services this uh, basically collectively uh, to sell a product to sell a brand to make something go further that's what we're discussing today okay and let me ask um if you can think back mm -hmm. what would you say is your favorite advertisement that i've done or any advertisement any, any. At all? We'll, uh, we'll touch about yours soon just my favorite you, you advertisement think i think is so Kogali. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it's so catchy, you it's know. It's catchy. Mm. What's your favorite advert, DJ Wash? Fiber. Any day, any time. Fiber? Yes, fat boy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 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 Those my guys are creative, emotions. you know. Mm. 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 Okay. That's What's good your favorite know. one? Uh, what is my favorite advertisement? Uh, a Dawambia. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> because you are a Dawambia, a Tafkiri, a Lafu, a Dawambia. Lakini. Hey? Sawa, sawa. Sawa, sawa. So let's go right in. How long have you been um, doing your runway modeling and commercial modeling, especially when it comes to advertisements? Commercial modeling is about a year now. A year now? Yeah. How are you liking it? I love it. How is it treating you? Really well. It's really well. Yeah. I can see the <laughs> smile on your face really well. Yeah, really well. Okay. Mm. Uh, so you could say it's a lucrative kind of work. Mm -hmm. Okay, sawa, sawa. So someone looking into it can be assured that they'd be somehow comfortable. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so. And how did you get into it? What made you interested coming from the runway, a model, model? How did you now get into advertisements? I actually started with commercial modeling. That's when I started venturing into runway later on. Okay, so it's the other way around. Yeah, it's the other way around. Okay. But I've always been so fascinated by ads. You know, uh -huh. whenever you see an ad, you're like, wow. Mm. I just want to be on one. I just want to be on one. So I just started going for auditions. Mm. So I went for my first one, my second one, my third one, then my fourth one I managed to get. Okay. Yeah. And okay. from there on, I started, I get some, I lose some, but I always keep going for auditions. 
And the ones that you went for, what kind yeah. of genres were they? Because because every time I look at advertisements, yeah. they, they have a different mood to them. Yeah. One is happy, one is about mothers, one is about babies, one is sad. Okay. What, what kind of adverts were you um, uh, going to audition for? The first one that I went for was actually an alcoholic brand. Okay. One that I've done was telecommunication. Okay. Another one was comedic. It had a serious message behind it, but was carried out in a comedic way. Mm -hmm. And another one was a message through dance, like through okay. dance. Okay. Yeah. A message through dance. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, I see. And as you auditioned, you said that you went for the first one, the second one, the third one, and then you got it the fourth time. Yes. Are you saying that you got rejected three times? Yeah. For what reason? You never really know. You know, the thing I was going to ask you, what, what do they say when they say, no, no, we don't want you for this advert? Like, how do they come <laughs> you to know, you? The what funny they... part is, they don't tell you no. When you go for an audition, you usually ask the shoot date. So when you see that date is approaching and you haven't been contacted, Juatu. 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 So basically, they just don't contact you. They don't contact you. And that's how uh, you know it's a no. Yeah, but it's usually written there. There's usually a form that you sign with your details. It yeah. only says, only contacted people will be those who have gotten it. Okay. Yeah, so okay. when that date reaches and you haven't been contacted, you just wait for the next one. Wait for the next one. Yeah. And so the fourth time around is when you got it. Yeah. What did you get the fourth time around? Which ad I got? Yeah. That was the Guinness ad. Ah, yeah. interesting. That's interesting. I'm hoping that maybe we can see a, bl a bit of it later on. Okay. And when, when we're talking about, you know right now, now that you've bought up Guinness, mm -hmm. um, there's a debate I was having a couple of months ago with, uh, some of the presenters here who some of them are being changed and I was like oh my gosh I'm having a real problem with how many billboards are going up that okay. have got to do with alcohol mm -hmm. like every single place where you turn your head it's a billboard <laughs> for booze billboard for booze billboard for booze um, nothing against the fact that you did one no, no. but but what what do you think what what is it that they're trying to push so much what do you think is behind the message of it I feel like it's just regular advertising like any other product would be advertised. And the good part is that they do put restrictions and that if you're below age, you shouldn't drink it. So I don't think there's any problem with it per se. I feel like it's how people choose to take it. Okay. Yeah. How people choose to take it. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I'm the one who chose to take it a bit too deep. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was having a problem. Whoa, what do you feel, DJ, DJ, uh, DJ Wash, about so you come on, Mona. Like for me, I find like there are too many billboards for alcohol out there. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I think advertisement takes a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. So <coughs> yeah. I think it's who can afford it. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, because ah, right. atuki mali billboard mali ziko be very strategic. I don't think any other business can maybe be able to put up afford to put it you understand i mm -hmm. get where you're coming mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. and i'm glad that you brought up strategy because now i want us to talk about strategy when it comes to advertising see okay. what i did but now strategy kidogo because now that we've said it, it just depends on how you take it hmm. you've talked about depends where you place these things yeah like one and then depends who's able to afford to mm -hmm. put that billboard wherever it True. is. Yeah. Strategy. Is there a strategy to advertising and to placing things in particular places? And for someone who's being in advertising, do you think that what I'm saying is true, what he said was true? Yeah. About strategy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So I believe that there definitely has to be a strategy towards what you do in your advertisement. If it's a billboard, where you put it. Because especially for TVCs, the right. advertisements that go on TV, right. you have to make sure it's catchy. Because mm. if it's not, then nobody will watch it till the end. Mm. And that's why ads are really short. You won't find an ad being over one minute because people's attention will have switched off by then. That's true. Yeah, so you have to make it as exciting or as informative as possible within that time so mm. that people can get your message and mm. still be with you. And about billboards, you have to place them strategically because if you're placing them places where people don't pass, no mm -hmm. one is going to see it. Mm -hmm. And your message won't be carried home. Yes, that's very true. Yeah. And when you, you said strategy and you're so proud of yourself, expound. Yes. So anyway, about actually about TV, if mm. you check where the ads are usually placed, like yeah. um, Katikatia, Program flani and a jua killer I'm gonna watch. Yeah. 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 Y
Mm. You know, I, well, according to me, I think you have to pay a lot of money, actually. Tell me a news. Yeah, I think a lot times, peak hours, mm. you have to pay no, more no. than time. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Angalia zile billboards ziko major highways. Yes. Who is the miss? Mm. Whatsoever. You can't mm. miss that. Very true. Kwa jam. Mm. It's true. Yeah, true. Alafu kuna advertisements, by the way, zina play what a specific time. Yeah. For example, the pri the ones that yeah. are playing during prime news, as does the owner, maybe at, let's say, in the afternoon. And again, if and you check, there's a tank as well. Who's watching prime angali. news? It was Nani a prime time. Watch? When you're on like, your prime time, you're talking about your company. <laughs> 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 yeah. And you'll never find mahali. alcoholic yeah. ads going on during the day. Just at night. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Prime time. Prime time. Yes. Okay. And then the people who are watching Prime News are also particular people who can buy particular mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Before we go further, because now we're talking about present advertisements. Okay. We'll continue with present advertisement. I'd like us to check some videos about advertisements. Could look at those days back in the day. We look at the differences. So okay. <clears throat> now that we're talking about present, feel free, my guys up there, to play them. Sana <laughs> There's some people were here trying to call me a grandma, and I'm like, these aren't that old. Like, how old are you when 1995 came along? Kwani mlukua? Like, where were you? Maybe I should ask you, what are y'all doing? Kwa mani Why aren't you in your cribs? In your. <laughs> Let me not go too far. But for real. Okay, so for real. These old advertisements, Maze. So from the 90s uh, going forward like that. I don't know how you guys think about them. What what mood does it give you compared to the mood for nowadays? Especially, let's say, like Kasugo, let me say, I rub kitabi, rubbing the kitambi like this. Uh, I don't know if such things can fly nowadays, but I think um, a lot of the fiber ones. I've been seeing something similar to that. It's a very comedic kind of advertisement. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll move on to the next one. The lady who was cooking that castile, mm -hmm. whatever. I don't think advertisements have changed that much. Like to may change labdani village nava na something maybe on the quality up. of the ads yeah mm. i don't know i think i think those are the changes that i have been able to perceive mm -hmm. are there any others that you'd like for us to check out let's see this one and i proudly remember Kingo. this one <laughs> yes <laughs> medicated throat lozenges they've got kingo medication with menthol and eucalyptus that clears the throat and clears the nose hmm they really work. My nose is clear and my throat feels much better. Asante sana. DJ Wash has been reminding me of another one over here, yeah, Eno. I wish you could see it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Eno. Manze, wow, what to pay because you advertise. I remember that in advertisement one. That was the one for Vix Kingo. Okay. Yes, and um, I think what has changed basically is what I'm noticing. A lot of the people are older people in advertisements, like fathers, mothers, mm -hmm. um, young ladies like you, 
I've not really seen that. I've seen mainly all the ladies. Even the one who was cooking seemed like a yeah. mother type. I don't know what was up with that. Maybe they thought that it was only for adults to do. Sijuin Nina Nini. Maybe more ladies would be interested. That was the target market. Oh, yeah. yeah. More ladies would be interested. Mothers as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if it was a young chick cooking, people would be like, what you know about cooking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it, it seems like most of the ads just have individuals. Now you'll find more ads with a lot of people in there. Exactly. That's something I've noticed as well. Yes. And when's the last... Oh, look at this. Look at these photographs. So let's talk about bon the photos Vita. that are coming up. Bon, bon Vita. Ay. Bon Vita the biscuit. Coco. Okay. Good enough. Oh, Coco. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't know that one has brought that. Hey, going strong. But we to go Ah. KBC, you Do you remember this logo, anyone? <laughs> Dunia and Mambo. Ah, yeah, yeah. You guys, man, things like Tausi. Tausi. I think we are going to do that. Oh, <laughs> check your garden. <laughs> <laughs> Is now that what you want to compete with? Right that was the guy you guys. Ah, yeah, yeah. I love this show. Ramsey That's why I barely understood. It's more friends nowadays. Hey, my mom loved this show. When it comes on, you know it's time to sleep. Hey. Hey. So, hey. so like looking at their hair. Si ju kwa nini? The scrubber is so raw. Okay. A 20 bob. I still Kai. have some. I have one as well. Mm. 20 bob was yep. on a note. Mm. I At a 5 na 10. Really? Me but don't corners. <laughs> Five bob na na yuko kikwa tu akipa dili. Ten young. Hey boy, he looks young. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It looks like he looks young. You're like oh. <laughs> Thirty-four. Uto, the, when is the last time we checked? We say waki hang kwa basi vi. I mi daily mkienda home. But you know what? I like this design of Kenya bus better. I think it looks nice. Yeah, I love this car. Cheeky taxi. Easy bados me paki wa uko nini? What's that hotel called? Tan mesa how? Ziko. Yeah, they've packed yeah, these ones. Ziko, kuna siya kusho na zao zao. Pasama zao. Eh, nice. JK Airport City. Eh, hey, uambele siya na zanguka. Niliko na mbizo basi ziliko zina zunguka. You guys, memorable places. Ini? Cinema? Yeah. Wimpy! What? <laughs> I used to love that oh. place. Kenya cinema. This one, they used to still have movies. I don't know, they don't. Cameras. Where? Kenya cinema. Hey. I see you. I just chop on your place. I just beat Sana. Call box. Call box. Call box. Call box. Call box. Call box. Check it out. Shua, 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 shua. Hey, this call box. Ambassador. We had one outside our church. Do you just think those things me? can still be relevant? Two, two, two call yes. boxes. I don't think so. Because right Even now, if you're calling a mobile. Have phones. Nokia. Mm -hmm. Chuma. I remember this. Hey, this one had the snake. Where? Envelopes. He like gave me a snake. Hey. <laughs> Not to forget. Maziwa ya nyayo. KCC, school milk. Hotcom. I miss kuku nyayo maziwa wafani. Any hotcom? 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 You never did that? Steaming water? Ah, yeah, yeah. Apana. Steaming water. Chaco. The world around. Eh, Neo, mm. like any miss cook and mess. Kiss on my swab in our lease on my Did you guys drink your school milk? Eh, yeah. yeah. no, I wasn't born. It's quite mezaliwa. No, it's mezaliwa. I think it's mezaliwa, but I miss cook to go. I don't know. I think I just didn't like milk. I think it's mezaliwa for one year. I think it's mezaliwa. I'm going to go to the baby class. Mezaliwa, class one. I'm going to go to the baby class. I'm going to go to the baby class. Okay, mezaliwa. Before we got to those ones, how did you guys like? What did you see? How mla feel like you can't get Do you feel old? Kiasi. Kiasi. I feel old and young. You know what we need to do over here, by the way, producers, we need to do try not to feel old challenge because this was that. Try not to feel old and I have felt old. Some of them made me feel young because half of them I wasn't born yet. Really? Yeah. Ah, nazi de patko. You know, I used to really like patko and nowadays I've tried to remake them. Now, Miss Yonis, it is the same. Squeeze it as a bob. Bob, see, three for ten, bob. Hey, bay me panda. I think the economy is here in Afanya. 
Mm. Tu vitu tulikuwa tuna enjoy kitambo zini ni. Mm. Kwanza ilikuwa nga 50 cents zo times nda. Because yeah. manzi ata hey, zile Britani. Unu kumka Britani? Yes. Uki una five bob liko bola. Yes. Oh my gosh man. <laughs> Things have changed big time. Liko bob bob. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. So now let's talk about a little bit when we come to eye catching things. Mm -hmm. Because advertisements normally the whole thing that Okay, the basis behind advertisements be able to catch your eye in order to sell a right. product. Now, when it comes to advertisements from the States, there's that big saying, sex sells. No, no, basically a chick who's not, you know, covered too much would be more probable to sell your product. Depending no, no. on which product that Depending is. on which product mm -hmm. that is. But they actually say any product. big G. Like uh, anything. Product yam toto. Not product yam toto, just anything. The anything that they try to do, they try and include a lady. But I've noticed advertisements here in Kenya are quite different. Mm -hmm. That's the part where I had to just shika sana. But then, later on, we look at some of the present advertisements okay. and we'll try and see um, the use of, I don't know, Kama, they've tried to use sex to sell. When I say sex, I'm not meaning the way you mean. I mean using a lady mm. to sell a product. Because okay. people say, by the way, Kama ni dem, wanna buy. Wana nunua. Wana buy. Even kwa easy, easy billboards are betting, for example. Uh. Not too many ladies bet. Not many, by the way. But there's a chick there endorsing the betting. But they usually have guys the as well. And yes, because it catches the eyes of the guy. Okay. So kuna your trick that advertising mm. uses, unona. Okay. Um, so I don't know if our producers are ready for us to check out some of the new ones. If not, we could just continue talking a little bit about some of the differences. Mm. This one I've seen on TV. This is Senior Kuiba Nini Credit, Sama. And as they fix, all right, as they fix that technical, yes, as they fix that technical hitch, let's move right along. Um, yes, as I was saying before. Easy is a kubet, for example. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can see that the views are lady, even if most of the time it's men who are betting. Yeah. And if I really want to go deep, like deep, 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 <laughs> then people will say like, ah, the views the light skinned lady. And you know, that's a whole like Kenyans. I like how you think. Not one of Kiryanga evil, by the way. Um, that the lighter you are, the easier it is to sell a product. And if you're female, you're definitely going to sell that product. Have you ever gone for a car show? Where they're selling yes, cars, so cars right. Vituza are no many cars, but who are standing there in beautiful dresses and makeup? Ladies. Uh, yeah. So the question is, that's a good question. So the question is, what is it? What is it um, about about us that, that makes people want to buy things? About ladies that make people want to buy things? I feel like someone is automatically more attracted to someone of the opposite gender. Mm -hmm. So they can use that to help them sell. Mm. Yeah. So would you buy things because it's being advertised by a man? Depends on what it is. Depends on what it yeah. is. Yeah. Yes. And depends if he's a good looking man too. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I know, this this soap which had run out of fashion, Carsons. See, they put a billboard here, Carsons up a juicy with a nice looking handsome man up with you. I was like, hey, hey Carsons is back into fashion. <laughs> like, no, but no, 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 Carsons, you know, Sabuni, you know, me, I know, Karatasi, I know, nowhere. Like, that paper goes nowhere. Unabaki kakio ka ulimi, napado ni niko tuwa. Carsons, imperial leather. Quality. I used to use that while growing up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sour, sour. And um, back to Miss Ojiro. Uh, when you're, I don't know, when you're doing advertisements, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you feel we can change um, as a country, maybe when it comes to putting messages forward, when it comes to billboards as well as TVCs? From my point of view or what I've experienced, I don't think there's anything that if I'd go back, I'd do differently, honestly. Because all the ones that I've done, I feel like were done in the best way they could be done. Yeah. Okay. On your end? Um, I think that there's a lot we need to learn. Uh, I think we're, a lot, we're talking to one of our, you know how you have these discussions with people. Mm -hmm. And you look at some of this. Did you come up under advertisements of South Africa? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're really well done. And I'm not trying to put Kenya down, but I'm saying that mm. there's a lot that Kenya can learn when it comes to advertising, uh, putting forth a message, mm -hmm. um, trying to set out branding and everything. And uh, when it comes to the issue of branding, first of all, I yeah. find it quite a shaky ground. Okay. Kwa mm. speaking of yourself especially, and then we'll come to your branding, because even DJs need to have their own cool. brand. Yeah, what, like, when it comes to branding, you wear so many hats. Mm -hmm. How would you go forth branding yourself or 
publicizing yourself to the people? What I define myself as? Yes. Initially, I usually start with commercial model because I feel like that's what I do most of. And then social media influencer mm -hmm. and now runway model. Social media influencer and now runway model? Yes. Okay. Hi, Sawa Sawa. And how about you? Oh, Wash. Wash, Your branding. Wash, Wash is an entertainer. He's a DJ, professional DJ. Mm. And more of, um, when it comes maybe to, if you want to hold a gig or something, you're more of a marketer because it comes like a, a package. At the same time, you also deal with um, sound, hiring out of machines, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, of so course. So basically, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, those are your brands. Um, that's interesting to know because now I want to talk a little bit about something that is a bit fishy. Okay, okay. These phones that we're holding in our hands. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know if you can see these two cameras to go kumbele. Mm. There's a time I watched a video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those people, Mew Penda, I like these videos where I watch one chambua vitu. I mm. like kuchambua vitu. Okay. I like getting to the root of things. Okay, udaku and kidogo so, kidogo? No, not udaku. Understanding something to the, to the bottom of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so mlikuanga na wachi video which was saying something... I don't know. The, the nice word is data mining, data mining, however you want to pronounce it. Data, data. Mm. Mm. Kiona Sasa, for example, you and Jean, let's say you walk out of here, Mwanze Kuongea story, ah, Jean tells you, by the way, ume buy yo, yo nini, uh, why have you bought this set for Pioneer? Mm. I want to spin, I want to learn how to spin, blah, 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 blah. Mutembe mkiongea ivo. Jean, you fika home, uangale mm. phone yako, you go to YouTube, you see a small advertisement over there written, Pioneer selling nini discs. Have you ever been in a fishy situation like that? Yeah, you're like, I... Am I you thinking about something and then the advertisement comes on the bottom? I understand what you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Actually, um, let me tell you what is really happening. Yes, please. There's something called integration. Like, they have integrated your apps. Yes. So whatever you're going to search on, maybe, let, let's say, whatever you're going to Google search, um, let's say you're going, you want to buy the, the machine. When you log into Facebook, it's going to come there as an advert. When you log into Instagram, it's going to come there as an advert. Yeah. They can never ever bring an advert that you have never ever checked That's through your device. That's not relevant to your history. Yes. Mm. Relevant. So, it, ah, yeah. so if I go to my Google and I Google something, then most likely I shall find it as a... On your, yeah. on your social media pages. Even on YouTube, that's usually mm. the same thing. You can watch the same video, but the ads that people see are different based on your history uh -huh. and your interests. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so, yeah, this is what I'd like to read you guys out. It says, data mining. This is like personalized ads, what we're talking <coughs> about right now, and how major networking companies monitor you every day and sell your info to bidders. And so I like the, the angle that you guys have taken, that yeah. this is probably just something to do with your interests. Mm -hmm. But the word I've seen here is monitor. <laughs> and remember, when I, started, when I started that question, remember yeah. I started by saying, you see this camera here? And, and, this is, and then I started by, <laughs> I was watching a video on YouTube. Uh -huh. Sasa, and I was watching a video on YouTube, and this person has completely managed to, these people have completely managed to convince me that we are being watched. <laughs> no, what, Sometimes what saying, I feel like that's what's There is a moment, yeah. Like, but again, what you're saying is, well, uh, it can be true, but again, I think you're being skeptical about it because okay. um, I don't think, unless someone has really hacked <laughs> your, into your device, <laughs> and again, they, they need to have um, interest in whatever you're doing, Amma, mm. in, in you as a person. But personally, me me when you mean me, easy easy with the way but you're very skeptical unless you're you're doing online shopping and, and all that because of payment, blah 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 blah. But if you're just watching and uh, getting to search and getting knowledge mm. we're in the layer too. Leave it at that. Yeah. I just told you more. Skeptical. What do you think about what he has said, Jean? I feel like Because it sounded yeah. like when I was saying the monitoring thing. Even me sometimes at night when I'm using my computer, I'm like, hey, is someone watching me, you know? <laughs> is someone watching me? Yeah, but I'm just paranoid. But I do know that they have ways of getting what you use, like your data, yeah. Yes. Um, once again, the practice of examining large pre-existing databases in order to generate new information. So... <laughs> 
I don't know, man. Data mining scares me. It really <laughs> does scare me. And I do believe, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm one of those. One of the Twitter conspiracy theorists. Yeah, I'm those ones. Uh, can yeah. you understand? By the way, data mining, it's real. It's happening. Because even that I'm talking about, I'm talking about the same way, application size. I'm talking about the village that could benefit. Yeah, yeah. Why, why would I not include data mining on my app? It's beneficial. Because Beneficial to yes. you. Yeah. So the problem comes when they record a PGA SIM. It happens when uh, whoever is getting uh, the data uses it the, uh, the wrong way. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Labda kuzi kitu kama yo. Sasa hapo ndi inakuwa illegal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sawa, sawa. Jean, mm. let's get back to advertising. Okay. Yeah, what was the first one that you remember working on? The first one was the Guinness. The Guinness one. Yes. And the most recent one? The most recent one hasn't yet been released, so I can't speak on it. But okay. one that has been released was kind of a music video, kind of an ad, was Chuja the Campaign. Chuja the Campaign. Yes. And I think our producers are going to get those videos for us so that we can watch some of your adverts. May I'd like to watch them, by the way. I've, well, I've already seen them. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll let some of our people watch them and they'll continue to play as we talk. Okay. And let me ask, where do you see yourself going when t in terms of advertising? I know you run runway model and all that stuff. And last time you came, mm -hmm. when we were fo focusing on the model edition, mm -hmm. that's what we discussed. And yeah. you notice I'm, I'm, I'm kind of focusing on a different side because today is advertising edition. Yes. So I want to focus on that side of you. How far and where do you want to take this advertising uh, aspect of, your, of yourself? Hoping to go international. You know, a lot of times there are castings here, but they're short somewhere else. So in the near future, I'm hoping that I, I manage to land one. Mm. Yeah. And what's something uncomfortable you, you would think you can't do in an advertisement? What's something you can't advertise for? I don't Same, ah, yapana, I'm not advertising <laughs> something like that. Hey, yapana, um, I don't really pay <laughs> I'm not advertising that. Yeah, when it, it comes to advertising, I'm usually really, really open-minded. Really? Yeah. Can you do an advertisement for condoms? Yeah. Yeah, oh my God. I'm so I honestly shy. can, yeah. Because yeah. it's just a job, you know. Ni job. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I saw it. It's not a good one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me tell the audience, I want to let you know, we're going to keep talking. We're going to keep talking, but Jean, Jean's videos are going to keep showing in the back. So look at them as we talk. Uh, I was going to ask you, you have to answer. <laughs> okay. See, let's make your condoms. Hmm. Yeah, what, which Any advert can you refuse? Anything maybe that is against my belief. Maybe against I'm a your Christian, models. Yeah, so oh, you're a Christian. Are you Or like to come and in? Come a four bed. Booze is not against. I mean, four bed. Is against booze? No. Yes. So what would you say? About booze. Uh, like how she was quick, quick with that answer. <laughs> no. Sioni. <laughs> So si, so mm. But in yo, I think it's funny because mm. they may bring you up in a very, very, yeah. Okay, I thought so straight and narrow. Not well, unajo, by the time bring you up, kikua lazima uta kam, zako. But I think it's funny at yoyote enye, ina go against what I believe in. Mm. So this is the Fuliza advert, isn't it? Yeah, this is the dance one that I was saying. All right. Uh, we're just going to be looking at it, even though it's going to be in the mute kind of volume. Okay. Uh, what, were you, what message were you trying to portray forth here? This was literally, so this is the main guy. He's called Lucarelli. So if you follow this message from the beginning, it's like, Akishukamat, Kamanado, Aneza Fuliza. He comes to buy clothes, Kanado and as a fuliza, and it goes on and on like that. Mm. He comes to the hospital, his wife has just given birth, he doesn't have money to pay, and a fuliza. Mm. At the shop, and a fuliza. So it just shows fuliza can cover you in any situation. Kauna cash, a fuliza, wherever you are. Okay, so yeah. sawa. Uh huh, I understand. Yeah. All right. And as they're bringing up the next one, me, I can't do an advert for. Hey, yo. Gani? Okay, I can't do an advert for condoms. Really? Okay. Me, yeah. only if it's something really immoral or something that I stand against. Like, why did you even do that? I don't even believe in that. But mm. why not? Mm. How about an advert for Fair and Lovely? Right now, I'm doing Nice and Lovely, so I can't do Fair and Lovely. But if I were using Fair and Lovely... But Fair and Lovely is a bleaching thing. It actually bleaches. Doesn't it? 
I've never used it. Doesn't it? I remember my aunts used to use it, but I've never used it personally. Now, for example, those are the ones I can't do because now it looks like I'm advocating it's something for you're bleaching. Against. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm against bleaching, so I can't go and do it for fair and lovely. No, yeah, no. if it's something you're against, then I feel like you shouldn't do it. Mm. Yeah, don't market something you're against. All right. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, look at that nasty face you're making. <laughs> what What happened there? What was going on? <laughs> so what happened here? This is Barack Jacuzzi. Oh, guy, you look so disgusted by what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> you're a really good actress. Really good facial expressions. Oh my gosh. So this advertisement was Chuja. Yeah. And it was an advertisement against all the sources of fuel that cause pollution. Okay. So how? So I was trying to eat it, but the smell was just, I couldn't stand it. Couldn't stand it. <laughs> That's that face. <laughs> That's that face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. All right. Uh, can we see the next one? <laughs> Mm -hmm. This there we is go, Oh, by the way, Jean is also a dancer. Yeah. Yes. And mm -hmm. I love that a few of my ads are dance ads. That's you, know, you over there, right? In the That's middle here. with the high bun. Apo, apo. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, here you are getting down. You're saying something. You like the ones for dancing. Yeah, because it's like two in one. You're doing two things you love in yeah. one. You're dancing and doing adverts. Yeah. <laughs> what was happening in this one? This was an uh, advertisement for Pour Me Cola. So literally, it's Pour Me Cola. That's the dance. So you're yeah. pouring me cola. Oh, Pour yeah. Me Cola. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll never have a dancing bone within me. Like in Watch a tuni, watch a tuni. I don't know if you can go away. I'm not sure. Mimi. Eh. I'm not sure if you're going to go away. That time, I was the only one dancing in the whole studio. <laughs> Yes, man. Can you see the smile on my face? I can <laughs> see. It's a really big smile. I was like, hey, oh my God. you enjoyed yourself. It's not even usually forced. Imagine it's, it's journey from love. It comes from love. Yeah. Okay. Sawa, sawa. And are you thinking of opening any, um, I don't know, training centers where you can help people maybe in dancing or teach people how to run a model or teach people how to um, act or present themselves in advertisements? As per now, I don't think so, because I'm still learning and still gaining more knowledge in those fields. But yes. maybe in the future, mm -hmm. when I'm a good enough dancer to be able to teach people and I know everything it, they would need to know, when I'm good enough in commercial modeling and I know like everything behind the scenes, then I may consider it. Okay. But for now, I'm still learning. For now, you're still learning. Yeah. And I have to ask you the uncomfortable question everybody wants to know. <laughs> you know, in the beginning, you said that advertising was something that you're comfortable with, mm -hmm. you can depend on. Yeah. Are you saying that someone can rely on advertising to pay for bills and pay for food and the clothes on your back? I Is personally that what you're do, yeah. yeah. But it also depends on, so what happens for advertisements, you get a one-off payment. It's not like every time you trans you get a payment. So also depending on your role, that would change how much you get. If you're a main cast, if you're featuring, or if you're an extra. But if you do get a featured to main role, then it's a good enough pay. Like if you get one ad per month, then it's good enough. Mm -hmm. And then also based on where the ad is going to feature. If it's local, if it's Pan-African, if it's international, the rate increases mm -hmm. and also the duration. Mm -hmm. If the amount you've been paid for is maybe for one year and then they like it and they choose to air it for another year, then you're paid again. Or if it's taken locally and then they like it and they choose to show it in other countries, you're paid more. Okay. Yeah, but ah. the payment is one off. The pay oh, just one off. Yeah. Okay, and then it's up to you to manage it. Yeah. So kitu payote, too bad for you. <laughs> Good luck yes. until the next time an advert comes yeah. along. All right, I see. And mm -hmm. how how does someone get into these advertisements? How does someone come along and get them? Uh, now this is back to the auditions. There's usually so 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 many auditions for advertisements. And a lot of the time, maybe when you go for an audition, you're not told what exactly it is, obviously, to avoid competing brands to know that there's an audition going on. Mm -hmm. But you'll find that a lot of the times what happens in the ad, you audition to do something similar. Like for the Fuliza, it was a dance audition. For this one, you're supposed to act like you're signaling someone to pour you cola. So it just shows whether... Because you don't speak, so it has to be physically what you can do, your actions. So the audition is just there to show whether you can deliver. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Just showing whether you can deliver. 
Yeah. Well, I want to share um, a fun fact. I don't think it's a fun fact. I think it's a sad fact. Yeah. But um, do you guys remember uh, this advertisement for Marlboro? Again? Marlboro. Maybe if I see it. Marlboro, the cigarettes from back in the day. Oh, right, yeah? There was always this guy in a cowboy hat. Yes, yes, like, yes. I think, I can't, I think, I think I'm picturing him near a forest or something. <laughs> Senor, mm. remember, remember William said, yes, yes. You, you know that guy with the cowboy hat advertising cigarettes. Yes. Have you noticed that now there are no more advertisements for cigarettes at all? At all. <coughs> I think it's called Sharia or something. Yeah? Mm, sharia. Hmm? Sharia. Actually, yeah. it's quite may notice, but William mm. Metal John don't come mm. like, Now yeah. you notice, yeah. you will never see an advertisement for a cigarette ever again. Yeah? Why is that? Oh, because it was banned or something. No, but even on the covers, it usually says that it may kill you, but we mm -hmm. still advertise it regardless. No, but again, why would you advertise alcohol? But that's what I was saying at the beginning. And I was just no, I'm just saying, thing. I think... But I didn't we... want to bash her because she's done no, something No, no, no hand feelings at all. But I have a problem with it. I have a problem with it. Why would you advertise alcohol? You are sure people will buy it. Be sure what you are You don't need to advertise. Not even that. But um, sometimes kuna offers, sometimes kuna new brand, you know. Um, Angoli mm. yangu ni, um, mm. when you say that, ume ban cigara, advert ya cigara, because no. ina cause cancer. I mean, uh, pia ni nina, ina, ina, ina leto gonjo ya liver. Nini, oh, uh, alcohol. Alcohol, na addiction. Mm. So I think, easy vitu zi, ni biasness too. Mm. Yeah, mm. how much mm. you take. Yeah. And actually, the reason why I was bringing it up is because we are coming to a close to this interview, and the one fact I wanted to share was the Marlboro man, uh, they did, three of them, they all died of lung cancer. All hmm? the Marlboro people. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Well, yeah. Well, I didn't know that. I, I thought that was pretty sad fact. Hmm. But, so yeah, that's a really dark side of ad advertising sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we can leave it at that. And I think we've learned a lot, and we've asked ourselves a lot of important questions. Yeah. And we've scratched the surface. We've left our viewers with really, really nice questions to think about. And we've learned a lot about Jean and her <laughs> new advertisements and what she's been getting up to. We've also learned about the kind of angle DJ, DJ Watch <coughs> likes to take. And we're so, so glad that you guys have spent this time with us on Social Friday. I've had a blast. As usual, come and join this on the Select Platforms. My name is Jeremy Chachi, and I shall be here next Friday as well. Same time, same place. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>